With Bona's extensive range of finishes, it is easy to choose the right product for the right place. Let the circumstances on and around the floor decide what product to use. What kind of wood will you be working on? How does the location look? Are you able to treat it alone? What kind of traffic will it be exposed to? And of course, what kind of look do you wish to achieve? Answering these questions and preparing for the job will not only make the application easier, but ensure a successful treatment with sustainable results. Use grit sizes 40, 80, 120. Excellent end results start with excellent preparation. Sand the floor carefully, use several grit sizes and never skip more than one grit size to establish a smooth surface without scratches. For best results, end the sanding session with a buffing machine and a screen. Fill open gaps with Bona Mix and Fill prior to coating. Mix it with the fine wood dust retrieved from the edge sanding. Mix and Fill gives a fine natural coloration, making the gaps almost invisible. When dry, sand away any superficial residue prior to proceeding with applying finish. Check air humidity and air temperature in the room. Optimal conditions are achieved between 40 to 60 percent and 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. Outside these intervals, it may be necessary to take some extra precautions to improve the conditions, such as in a warm, humid environment, try to create some airflow. In a dry climate, restrict airflow, increase application rate, pull down blinds, block direct sunlight. The absolute minimum temperature for finishing is 13 degrees Celsius. Vacuum the floor and measure its area. Pull the red string on the shipping box and insert the enclosed plastic bag to make an easy disposable tray to keep the finish in. The typical application rate is between 100 to 120 grams per square meter or 8 to 10 square meters per litre, but anticipate higher consumption on absorbent surfaces. The first application should be done with a base coat, a primer. Start by applying the primer to the edges of the first and inner section. Smooth out the brush application directly with the roller and continue by distributing the primer across the grain of the wood. Apply no pressure to the roller. Finally, smooth out the application by ending the section going along the grain of the wood. Keep the yoke of the roller pointing in the direction of which you are moving. This side of the roller is slightly heavier and used in the opposite direction it may leave thin roller tracks, like shown here. Continue with the next section and make sure to keep the edge of the first section wet. To achieve this on larger surfaces, it is recommended to be several people applying. When overlapping, enter the previous section with about 20 centimeters. Push forward, lift, and pull back. In this way, leaving a string of finish in front of the roller is avoided. Push forward, lift, set down gently and pull back. One to two hours later, the primer is usually already dry. Now make a superficial abrasion with a screen grit 150 or finer to remove raised wood fibers. Move the buffing machine quickly. If the primer is properly dry, it gives off a fine white powder that won't clog up the abrasive. Finally, vacuum and damp mop the floor to remove the fine dust. Now it's time to apply the top coat 
which will give the surface its superficial properties and keep it protected from future wear and tear. In this case, we're going to apply a two-component product which requires an addition of hardener to function. Again, calculate the required amount, shake the can and add 10% of hardener to the finish. Then shake the mixture immediately for one minute. Avoid trying to mix the two components in a bucket or similar. Apply the top coat according to the same principles as the primer. Totally, the floor should receive three to four coats of finish for proper saturation and protection. After the final application, the finish needs time to harden and should be treated with care for the first few days. In general, the following time limits apply. Note that all covering sheets should be of a breathing material. Before furniture is brought back into the room, make sure felt pads are clean and in good trim. Boner. Bringing out the best in wooden floors.